From WMBF News, here's Vice President and General Manager Ted Fortenberry with today's Consider This Commentary. Last week, as we began reporting about the tragedy at Carolina Forest High School, we immediately posted the information on WMBFnews.com. Users have the opportunity to comment on these web stories and interact with other people who have shared their opinion. Now, as we expected, the number of people offering feedback on this story was significant. However, what was surprising was the viciousness of some of the comments. Consider this. Technological advances have certainly improved our lives in many ways, but with any advancement, you almost always create some negative components as well. And in this case, the ability of people to spew venom from their keyboard anonymously is troubling. People were condemning the victim, the officer, the school board, and anyone else they could think of before we had any of the details of the incident. In fact, we're still waiting for additional information that will not be available until the investigation is complete. However, many people would prefer to speculate on what happened and share their ill will with the world. Why wait and let facts get in the way of a creative imagination? The good news is many people offered thoughtful commentary and heartfelt concern for everyone involved in this tragic situation. And we can only hope those thoughtful comments have a positive impact on the users who prefer to condemn, complain, and crucify with no concern for the accuracy of their comments and the negative impact it has on everyone involved. Our opinion is one of many. If you would like to share yours, go to WMBFnews.com, click on Community, then Consider This, or write to us at P.O. Box 3579, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, 29578.